Hello everyone, Ashley is here with different technique of hair cutting. Today I want to introduce you razor cutting. As you see the razor difference between razor and scissor, razor has a one blade and scissor two blades. Today I want to show you how you can cut with a razor, what's the difference and what's the similarity. As you see one of the differences I told you the razor has a one blade and scissor has a two blades and the second difference is when you cutting the hair with the razor always your guide is above your finger but with the scissor you can cut above your finger or under your finger so the guide is different with scissor and razor the result with a razor cutting is very different from scissors because the video cutting with the razor has a different appearance and you can you can see the visible uh, um, separation and you can see the visible separation and feather because when you cutting with the scissor the hair comes blunt end of the hair comes blonde and uh, straight and with the scissor cutting this is with scissor cutting the hair cuts with the angle that's why the hair shows the, um, the result of the hair comes more separation with the separate and more soft razor, uh, razor cutting is very uh, good idea for cutting the fine and medium hair when you cutting the hair with a razor you do all this procedure that you're doing with a scissor sectioning parting everything is like exactly like a scissor cutting but when you're cutting with a razor your guide is top of your finger You can cut horizontally, you can cut vertically, you can cut diagonally. All the di direction that you're doing with the scissor, you can apply with the razor. With the razor cutting, At the end, I want to remind you, never use razor cutting for curly hair because with the curly hair, cutting with the razor, it makes weak uh, the cuticle and then for um, curly hair, it looks more frizzy. So avoid cutting with the razor for curly hair. Thank you for watching. Until the next video, have a good day.